So here's the next step in Viennese piano history. It's a six octave piano. By 1810, the common compass was six octaves. And as I explained last, last time, uh, Beethoven wrote his third and fourth concerto um, for a five and a half octave piano, where he used all the notes. That's what Beethoven did. He always went to the outer boundaries of what is possible. And by 1810, 1812 is his, his fifth piano concerto. This is the normal piano and it has six octaves. And for his fifth concerto, he uses all notes of this piano. This one is a very luxurious one. It is in veneered in mahogany, and which was very special in Vienna because Vienna didn't have any colonies. And these exotic woods were really very, very expensive. The, the common woods they had was walnut or cherry, which they often stained red to make it look like mahogany to, to pretend it was a, an expensive piano. And of course it has these beautiful karyatid legs, which is the typical empire, empire style. It's not only these beautiful karyatid legs, it also has these beautiful ormulu uh, decorations on the front here and, and on, the, on the pin block. It's all wonderful and luxurious and personally I love it. But um, I also want to show you what people looked like as every time. So this could be what somebody looked like in 1810. Imagine this, this man playing this piano. Interesting was when we found this piano, it, was, it turned up in Sweden. And interesting is that the name board said W. Hagen, 1810 Vienna. And when it came here, we saw that every detail was of the finest quality and we couldn't find anything about Hagen, Hagen, V. Hagen in Wien. Um, that was very interesting because uh, the quality is too good. And so uh, when we started restoring it, we took the name board out and it, it appeared to be plastic. Here it is. Can you believe it? Plastic. So somebody put his own name on it, in it, or I don't, I don't know where it comes from. But fortunately, here is a kind of a medal in the soundboard. And it's very difficult to read because it's very damaged. But uh, with side lights and, and make the photos very big, we could read M dot M U and then R in Wien uh, and then KK. Um, Königlich, Kaiserlich, Privilegiert, wonderful. So now we did, did know something where we could look for. It can only be, have been Matthias Müller in, in Vienna. And Matthias Müller, KK, means uh, royal uh, supplier. So he must have been very famous in that time. And we made another name board uh, as a copy from an instrument in the Historische Museum in Frankfurt. It has four pedals. Around 1810, there was a growing middle class of people who started buying instruments and they didn't especially play the, the, the very difficult Beethoven, but they, of course, played at homes. So they played kind of popular, popular music of the time. And there, these pedals are very uh, nice to use, like a bassoon register or drums and bells. But that's something I show in the next piano, in the next uh, issue we are going to release.